Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 19, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at WTI oil. And as you can see, we did rally up towards $109 a barrel and then pull back. So we ended up in red, but we're still at $106 per barrel. So we did cross this barrier here, which was a fairly bullish sign for oil. And since then we have basically been rallying. So, so we may see a pullback here um, towards the, the middle of the bullish band, which is basically the 20 simple moving average probably 104 that's where we'll uh, bounce if we break then we'll most likely bounce from this uh, trend line here or if we break below it then we'll have uh, 95 as a major support as we can see at is basically where we broke out here that's also where we bounced and bounced and broke out so it looks like this market will continue going higher. We may see this uh, pull back, but in general, um, this market, uh, technically speaking, is about to go significantly higher. If you look at uh, where we may see major resistance, then it's 116, that's the high here. And then, the, of course, the highs here are roughly 126, uh, from 120 to up, all the way up towards 126. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD it is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at natural gas because this is probably the more we'll use more time on natural gas because this market is absolutely crazy. Yes, we did finally get a fairly weak candle, even though the day was uh, it gapped higher from roughly 7.289 all the way up towards 7.486 and then it rallied roughly 10 and a half percent all the way up towards 8.061 and then gave nearly all of those gains back so this is a weak candlestick uh, it probably should have gone uh, lower uh, but um, it's a sign that people are taking uh, profit and starting to short so it's not basically starting to sell this and the main reason it, it because it's been completely parabolical it um, it has um, i think uh, natural gas is up 150 percent um in the last uh, few months if you look at technical indicators we can see them at rsi for example is at 86 at this current stage so it's significantly over a bot even though we had a massive pullback of more than five percent it is still at 86. Uh, we may go higher tomorrow and if we do for some reason go higher than the highs of the day then we'll end up with an rsi above 90. and then you're looking at um, usually a fall of roughly 25 percent or even um, higher than that because then it becomes so overbought so uh, parabolic that it just snaps back and therefore you could be easily see this dropping uh, losing half of its value uh, it may still do that but there are um, different areas where we'll most likely find major support and for example here so these two resistant uh, peaks will most likely be the first support levels that we'll run into. And that is uh, seven, 6.271 at this current state, around this area here. So uh, from roughly, yeah. Um, and after that, we have the middle of the bullish band, which is a 20 simple moving average. Then we have another peak here and another peak here. So basically these two peaks, that's 5.5. And then we have the 50 moving average, which we also have another peak here and another one here. That is roughly at 5.1 and then the 200 moving average is 4.6 and that's probably as far as this would go as we basically see every time it gets in uh, since it gets close to the 200 moving average it tends to follow that pattern and will also be significantly oversold if we get down to that point uh, a more realistic scenario is that 
we have a breakout here that measures around three dollars and therefore we could head uh, above nine dollars and what we're seeing here is just a pullback towards the highs here and then going higher so we may see this market do something similar to this and then continuing higher this would also be a roughly um, around the Fibonacci retracements. So we'll have the 50 Fibonacci retracement, which also is the top here, and we'll both slowly be the mostly bottom here. So that could be a scenario what we're seeing at the moment, that it's basically a pullback towards the 50 Fibonacci retracement, the previous uh, resistant levels here, and then continuing higher up towards uh, nine, probably nine and a half dollars for, for uh, natural gas. That's a scenario. The other one is that we are entering a period of the year where demand is just going to fall off a cliff. And therefore, what we are seeing here is that we'll just see this completely fall apart. So probably drop towards the 50, pull back a little bit towards the 50 again, and then continue all the way down to the 200 moving average, uh, due to the fact that the demand both in the United States and Europe and everywhere else uh, where we have warmer weather, is just going to vanish. So um, people are most likely going to continue mass producing natural gas now because due to the high prices, and you could just have complete destruction due to the fact that demand is just going to fade away. If you look at the MACD, it is very bullish. Stochastic has crossed the signal line. It's indicating bearish, but we are in bullish territory uh, going below 80 uh, or 70. And then we are going to see this really fall apart. RSI is significantly overstretched. I actually don't have a RSI that is higher than this in the daily chart. Yeah, we have one here where it went up towards 98, but that's also we can also basically see what happened when that happened. So it probably take be very volatile, but it it has to go down when RSI gets that high. And also when it gets this low, it will basically rally. So hope you find this helpful. You're able to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much.